attention home sellers. Yes, you, 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 you're thinking about selling your home and you've heard all the NAR stuff and you're just not sure about what a buyer's agent really does for you. What's in it for you? Well, this video, we're going to go over what a buyer's agent actually does and why they should be considered valuable part of the process for you as a seller. I am Melissa Shore and I've sat at the table with over a thousand buyers and sellers over my 21 years of uh, real estate. And this NAS settlement change has really seen some different mythologies that have come into place. But I can tell you from 21 years of experience how to seclude the best buyer for your property and why you should consider a buyer's agent as a part of your integral process of selling your home. One reason using and inviting a buyer's agent into the selling process allows you to draw the strongest pool of buyers for your property. And the benefit to you is if you can draw in the strongest pool of buyers, that really increases your chance of yielding the best possible terms for you. The second reason is it really minimizes looky-loos. So as a potential seller, you are really looking, I would assume, for qualified buyers. You're not necessarily wanting just neighbors and other people coming through and looking at your home that are not qualified. Now that buyers have to enter into a buyer's agency agreement with a buyer's agent, you can be rest assured that they've been qualified and they're qualified to purchase a home or have provided evidence of funds to purchase your home in cash. Another reason a buyer's agent is an advantage to having in the sale process when closing on your home is because it really encourages an environment to receive realistic offers. When a buyer's agent is involved, then they can really share the data uh, with their client and not only the data of comparable comps, but current market inventory and the nuances of each specific neighborhood that you're looking in because no neighborhood is the same and they're able to vet and guide and coach on what is a realistic offer for you as a seller. It also helps expedite the process for a smooth closing to make sure that deadlines are adhered to, that things don't fall through the cracks. So it really provides some certainty to you as a seller. They also recommend professionals. Being a professional in the industry, it's really imperative that you align yourself with other like-minded professionals. And due to the standards of care and due diligence and fiduciary duties to the our clients yourself through this process, it's really raised the bar of standards. And the buyer's agent are able to recommend reputable lenders and other contractors that are needed throughout the process to again ensure a smoother closing. Another important factor that you may not have considered is it reduces liability to you as the seller. I know from a firm standpoint and an agent standpoint, my errors and emissions insurance is a lot more expensive if I do dual agency. There's numerous reasons why I don't do dual agency, but this is just one of them. And it's evidence based on data that if only one party is involved, then the increase of lawsuits and the potential of being sued increases. So that is just another thing that can provide you with a little bit more certainty and comfort. It's not to say that you can never be sued if you have a buyer's agent, of course, but it does minimize some of the risk for sure. The other reason that a buyer's agent, you might want to consider the use of a buyer's agent is seller concessions can be structured to include buyer's agent compensation. Now, at this point, you're probably aware that we can no longer put buyer's agent compensation in the local MLS. And there's some controversy about that. Do you offer seller concessions? Do you not? In my opinion, yes, you do, because you structure the asking price based on the buyer's agent compensation included in that net price. And those negotiations can be structured within the offer process. 
And again, the reason for this is we are in a market right now, and this could change in the future as of right now, 2024. This could change as we impede even to quarter four, that you want to solicit the biggest pool of buyers for your home, the strongest pool of buyers. How do you do that? You appeal to the most people. You appeal to the most buyers. So if you've got a home that a first time home buyer can only come up with three and a half percent, and then they're going to have to come up with the buyer's agent commission, then and pay their agent, then we've just added their added onto their fees and limited the pool of buyers that can qualify to purchase your home. So we want to open up the floodgates. We want to use the seller concessions and offer a compensation for the buyer's agent as a marketing tool for you to select the best offer, the most amount of offers, and yield the best outcome for you. So please, if you're considering a move and you have more questions, just simply click the link below. Let's have a conversation voice to voice, and we'll figure out what your best next move is, and we'll make it happen.